Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back with another Moody Monthly Faves, this time for the month of September. If you are new to our channel, these are kind of going to be our favorite things. Um, so go ahead and check out some other videos and subscribe so that you understand why we care about these things or why you should even care. And if you are in the Darling Clan, welcome back and I hope you guys enjoy these things and let's get into it. So the month of September was pretty hectic. We went out of town twice, um, so we didn't really do a whole bunch. Um, but the things that did stand out to us stood out a lot. So for music, um, we are kind of getting to the end of September and I was getting a little nervous, like, oh man, hasn't really been much that's like completely wowed me. And then the end of September just blew me away as far as music goes. So the first um, album that came out that I really, really loved was Knox Fortune's Paradise. Um, if you don't know, he's a Chicago artist, he's a part of Save Money, um, or I don't know if he's a part of it, but he works closely with them. Anyways, the album is really good, it's got a lot of good music, it's very dancey, it's um, clean, it's, it's really nice, um, and he's from Chicago, so does it get better than that? No. The second album that really stood out to me was Songo's album, I'm not going to try to pronounce the title so I will put it here but the album was really good if you are into kind of instrumentals um, he is oh let me not like get this wrong but he has really good musicality he's got really good sensibility so his albums are always good and since the moment I heard him I have liked every single thing he's put out um, and this album was by far his best. And then the third album that came out, and I use the term album lightly because it's kind of more of like a playlist, even though they're putting it out as an album, um, but it was, it's titled Scream, and it's by Michael Jackson, and it's got a lot of music geared or centered around kind of Halloween and spookiness, and it's perfect for the month of October. Um, it came out at the end of September so that you can gear yourself up for Halloween. Um, and it's got all of our classics. It's got Thriller, it's got Scream, it's got Somebody's Watching Me, um, and it's got some other ones. It's not all just Michael Jackson. Some of it is the Jackson 5, and then Scream is obviously Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. Um, but it's a really good album for what it is and for what I need it for um, because when I think, obviously if you think of Halloween music, one of the first songs that come to your mind is Thriller. But you don't necessarily think of all these other songs that he has created and that him and his family have created that can technically go on that um, playlist as well. So if you're looking for music for your Halloween playlist, then go ahead and add that album in because it's really good and it's family friendly. A movie that the kids have really been into during the month of September has been Kiki's Delivery Service. Now obviously that's not like a new movie and it's not new to Chip and I but it was new to them and it's been cool watching them experience Kiki's Delivery. Um, this isn't their first time watching a Miyazaki film. They watch Howl's Moving Castle and My Neighbor Totoro. Um, but Kiki has been the movie that's really stood out to them this month and they've been really enjoying watching it and we like it because Kiki is, she's just a sweet girl and she's literally dedicating her life to like customer service basically. And anyone who has had a customer service job, you know how hard that is and so it's cool just seeing her kind of go through young adolescence with this job being like a witch and dealing with all that comes with that. And the kids have really enjoyed it. So if your child hasn't seen any Miyazaki film, redo that. Um, have them watch some of these classics um, because yeah, they, they, they just don't make movies like these anymore. A 
book that has stood out to us this month and it just came to us and I'm so excited for this but I was reached out to on Instagram by this company who makes books for children and what they do is you send them a picture of your child and you kind of tell them your child's name and they insert your child into a book that they already have set and there's a couple of them that you can choose from but like this is your child in this book and so I sent them a picture of Natalia and look at her she's so cute like I love it I love this book and it's obviously one of my favorites because now my daughter is the star of the book um, and it's her running around with dinosaurs like does it even get better than that and the company is awesome so you send them that and they have a lot of books that you can choose from um, and they are continuously updating it and the process was so simple so easy I got it super quick and the story is really adorable it's basically this dinosaur learning to accept who he is because Natalia helped him to do that and I just love it I love it so if you haven't checked it out I'm gonna leave all their information in the description box below but go ahead and look them up and see if you can get a book for your child these are perfect for gifts so even if it's not your child even if you have a friend with a child who can read themselves because Natalia is a little young for the book but I can tell that when she gets a little bit older she's gonna enjoy it more because she's gonna have more of a concept that this is actually her in this book but if you have to get a gift for someone who's like maybe five and up or if you need like baby shower gift no because you don't know what the baby looks like yet not a baby shower gift but if you have any kind of presents and you want to get a gift like that go ahead and get them one of these books they are amazing meals in september um we haven't really ventured outside of the box but this whole vegan plant-based diet that we're doing or lifestyle sorry not diet lifestyle um is amazing but the hardest thing I've been finding is that I've been needing to find kind of creative fixes for what I want so the month of September I was craving craving Chinese food I'm not pregnant I just really wanted Chinese food and I normally every time I go to get Chinese food it doesn't matter where I go unless I know they have really bad um, shrimp fried rice I will always get shrimp fried rice always it doesn't even matter so I had to figure out a way to kind of get this fixed and so I ordered from one of our local places and I got their tofu fried rice and I will probably not miss shrimp, shrimp fried rice anymore it's so good and their tofu isn't like squishy it's it, they made it crunchy and they kind of seasoned it like meat so it's it's tasty um, and it gives you what you wanted from the shrimp fried rice but you just get tofu and so it was really good and I really really want to find a way to do this at home for myself um, and once I do, I will definitely give you guys a recipe, but it, it was so good. If you have a tofu fried rice recipe that you really swear by, go ahead and send it to me, put it in the description box below, or you can hit me up on any of my social medias and get it to me that way because I am now in love with tofu fried rice. An app that, again, is not new to me, but I'm discovering it in a new way, and I mentioned it in another video, is the app perspective now I didn't really get to talk all the way through it but I love this app because it helps you to recenter but also keep track of kind of where you've been emotionally where you're going how you're doing with goals it does a lot and so I'll kind of walk you guys through the app because it's amazing but this is what it looks like when you pull it up and it's basically in a, a calendar um, so this is that these are the years since I was born it starts up there when I was born obviously I didn't have the app when I was born apps weren't even alive um, and then we can click on 2017 then you come into 2017 and you kind of have the months and you see how inconsistent I am <laughs> but then once you click on the month then you can kind of see your days which if you haven't already you can go look at the vlog and find out why Monday is the red face but yeah then once you click on it you can kind of 
put in whatever you want. So this is where you can put in thoughts. Oops. You can put in thoughts, you can put in pictures, you can put in whatever. If you don't really know what you want to say, you can click this button down here. And it'll give you a prompt of like questions to answer to, to reflect on your day. And then you get the smiley faces up here so you get to judge how your day was. And then this heart button is your goals. And so you can tell it whether you've accomplished these goals um, or not and if you're making yourself happy. So I really like this app because it, it's been helping me even though I haven't been fully focused on my self care, it's been helping me to recenter and refocus at least a little bit of time at the end of the day. So that's it for our Moody Monthly Faves. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to find any more information, I will leave stuff in the description box below. But you can also go ahead and head over to our blog, which is where you can find this actual post with pictures, all of that stuff that you would want and need from this information. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from us. And we will see you in the next one.